Aikido. It is also called moving Zen. There are various styles, but the population of Aikido is about 1.6 million in the world. The biggest organization is Aikikai. Morihei Ishiba, the founder of Aikido. His son and the second doshu of Aikikai, Kishimaru Ishiba spread the Aikido to the world. He hoped to make more masters by teaching Aikidao to many students. On the other hand, Kurindo Aikido is not well known in Japan. The founder is Minoru Hirai. When he met Morihei Ushiba, he already had owned Dojo Kugato. There he taught Jujutsu and Kenjutsu. Hirai, who felt the commonality between Ushiba's theory and his own theory, was invited by Ushiba and was in charge of the general affairs at the Tokyo Dojo Kubuken. In 1942, upon request of the establishment of a total martial arts department from the government's auxiliary organization Dainippon Butakukai, Arai, who was in charge of general affairs, was dispatched. After the war in 1945, Arai established Kurindo Aikido to pass down Dainippon Botakukai Aikido and changed the name of his dojo to Kurindo. He taught a few students skill and mind. Because, if a lot of students came, he thought that skill and mind could not be communicated correctly. Kishimaru's thought and Minoru Hirai's thought? I think that neither thought is wrong. But, the reality is tough. There will be no thousand people to learn in Kurindo Aikido in the world, maybe. Moreover, there are few people who learn correct Kurindo Aikido. Our master left the Kurindo to accurately convey Hirai's Aikido. So, although it is Kurindo Aikido, we call it a ride than Aikido. Hirai Den Aikido includes three keywords. A fight is confrontation. Aikido has denied the confrontation. And Aikido has denied also confrontation of consciousness. These three are important keys to embody them. 8 Types Tai Sabaki Koshi no Mawari and Tu Shinkino I want to mention a little about Tai Sabaki here. There is not kata in Harai Den Aikido. The thing is that there is not first technique or second technique in Harai Den Aikido. That there is a Tai Sabaki instead. Hayaku Hachijudo Tentai Sun Byaku Rokujudo Tenkai Koti Geri Irimi Tentai E 
Isogoyashi. Chiho Sabaki. Menzuri Ashiro Sabaki Eight movements randomly. with a Bakken. with a gel these eight Thai Sabaki are practiced to the front, back, right, and left and they help develop the ability to apply techniques from any position. Nonetheless, I did not explain the movement of the foot, the angle of the arm, etc. now. You will understand the reason later. Koshi no mawari means turn a waste in English. But, Koshi no mawari is... Not that a person turns a waste physically. That is why it is difficult. Kyushin Kino means central induction in English. Koshi no Mawari and Chushin Kino are sets. If either one lacks, it is useless. Details about these two later on. Jujutsu. Judo. And Aikido are derived from Kenjutsu. Ironically, Kenjutsu was developed most in the Edo period when the Civil War ended. Not only for the physical development, but for the cultivation of mind. In the process some of them noticed the importance of the mind, the importance of the invisible part. Zen, Koshi no Marari and Chu Shinkino are a few of them. Koshi no Mawari is also called Koshi Mawashi. Is the theory of Kenjutsu, especially for those styles in Kansai region. This means that the movement of Bodao begins from the waist. Apply human motion to three axes. The horizontal axis is X, the vertical axis is Y, and the front and rear axis is Z. When the center of the waist 
is considered to be the beginning of movement, the x-axis and the y-axis of human motion and the center of the waist where the z-axis cross each other becomes movement of a sphere. And, when that movement appears outside, the movement of the body becomes the movement of the three-dimensional sphere. An opponent will follow the movement of a sphere unconsciously, or to bend backward or stop. The word Koshinal Mawara still remains in some styles of Kenjutsu such as Takanuchi Ryu and Tsausushi Ryu, but the meaning is quite different. Kyushin Kino is to stop consciousness, judgment and thinking that was toward to the opponent. I saw a hanging scroll of meaning similar to this on a video of God of Judo Kyuzo Mihun 10th Dan. They are doing this match under special conditions. No Niwaza. No Osa Akomi. Only Nagawaza. Or Ashiwaza. Izipan. It's like boxing sparring. Grab each other, steps and move sideways. They are making equal conditions to each other. It is both disadvantageous and advantageous to each other. So high level students are purely trying to off balance the opponent, find the best timing, and tactics. If the accuracy of the technique is low, it fails, and when it is high, it succeeds. In the history of Judo in 135 years, only 15 people have reached 10th Dan. The accuracy of the high level student skills is very high. But Mihun is going over it. Everyone may be paying attention to Mihune's techniques, but I want you to pay attention to the last part. You can see the hanging scroll, right? The narrator is saying in Japanese. Kyushin Kitsu means center return in English. In short, returning to the center, becoming one. It means a quiet heart to all things. Like Zen. To return consciousness to the center of ourselves. In other words, it is an unconscious state, a momentary meditation state, and a momentary altered state of consciousness. Desire to win, fear losing. Joy, sadness, and anger. Combine the mixed emotions into one. This word is very important to those who are training martial arts. Not just Judo. Karate, Kung Fu, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, etc. applies to all martial arts. Also in your life. Martial arts are a means of killing people originally. But martial arts is also a means of growing oneself. I don't know if you are young or old, male or female. I don't even know what kind of martial arts you are doing. Human get old. Any champion loses both power and speed. But experience and spiritual growth will not be lost. He shows us the true nature of such martial arts. Consciousness is coming and going without being realized. For example, if you feel like someone is looking at me. And look back, someone is really looking. Or, gazing at each other at the same timing. This is an example that body responds to consciousness. Another example is there is a story about a mother. This actually happened a few decades ago. She witnessed her own child falling from the fifth floor of the window. Watch out! She yelled, and run in no time. The child was falling from 12 meters high. At this moment, she was 8 meters away from the spot where the child would land. On the calculation, her child weighed 15 kilograms was supposed to hit the ground after 1.5 seconds. Her running speed was even faster than Carl Lewis who was the fastest sprinter of the time. Also, she was wearing sandals, not shoes. At the instant of capturing her child, the weight that she was receiving was about 165 kilograms as falling from 12 meter high. She supported with her own arms. It is about four times her body weight. 
In general, an average person can lift the weight three times of their body weight. This is widely known as a phenomenon of fight or flight response, but it is also an example in which the body moves unconsciously. There is no gap to think. Unconscious dominates the body. On that evidence, she didn't remember what happened until she caught her child. Let me explain the examples until now with video 1, 3, and 36. Wukei grabbed Master Narita's wrist. Mr. Shiraishi is conscious of grabbed his wrist. And he is conscious of fighting Master Narita. Actually, this is the state that supports the center of gravity of each other. By the contact with the wrist and each other's consciousness. But, Master Narita returned his consciousness and center of gravity to himself. At that time, the body movement and the axis movement create a movement of a circle or sphere. And, Mr. Shiraishi loses support and falls like being caught in a circle. The same phenomenon is occurring many times in this video. This is a physiological reflex rather than a technique. It cannot be done easily. Moreover, it must be able to do it naturally. Master Narita's explanation is very abstract. He explains one phenomenon with various phrases. The word he uses is also unique. Because it is a story of the sense of the body, it is caught in the prejudice of the word if it is one phrase. Master Narita says, Mr. Shiraishi says, meditative texture. So, it seems to be a little different from, in the zone. Okay then, let's watch 3. You are supposed to think. What the hell? It seems that Wo K stops the knife hand. Strike and falls down on his own. Looks like fake. You see it, right? What did Master Narita do at that moment? Do you want to know? So, I came up with a way to taste the feeling that you became a master. It's just an example. Because it takes time to become a master. First of all, extend one arm in front of the face with the palm open. Please focus on your palm. Is the back of the hand the wall of the room? Of course, 
Even if you are outdoors it's okay. Lee stop now. Go to therapy right now. Well, please look at the wall or anything in the room. Just like this. You look at the hole without focusing. Now, your eyes are looking at the wall, and at the same time you are conscious of your own hands. But the ratio to hands is lower than before. Next, please touch under the navel. With the other hand while keeping your eyes. Your eyes are looking at the wall and hand, but I think your consciousness is in the lower abdomen at this instance. Did you get it? This is a way to taste the feeling that you became a master. You are thinking now. What? What are you talking about? Or... But I think this resembles the feeling of Kushin Kino. I thought of this three nights three days without sleeping. The word ki, ki machi. Omoi. You may find these words in Master Narita's books and videos quite often. This can be paraphrases consciousness. Well, I will explain each frame one by one. When confronting against Woke. On the left, Master Narita points his consciousness towards the green area. Of course the master can sense 360 degrees. Well, it is natural that he is conscious because the opponent attacks. Master doesn't focus on somewhere at Mr. Shiraishi but watching the hole. It is said that the founder Minoru Hirai said, don't look, picture it. I thought this was Kenjutsu's Enzo no Metuke, but is nearest viewer in the zone the closest? It is difficult for me to conclude. This is the state looking at the wall and hand that was explained earlier. And, at the moment just before Mr. Shiraishi waved up his arm, thinking a strike. Master returns his consciousness back to himself. This is the state touch the lower abdomen as explained earlier. Mr. Shirishi's opinion is that a series of actions of this consciousness is a way of conscious to notice myself watching opponents equal Kushin Kino. Master Narita is more abstractly expressed in various words. When they listen to their stories, I cannot express in one word. It is difficult. When Master Narita is conscious of Mr. Shiraishi, naturally Mr. Shiraishi is conscious of Master Narita. This is a situation where conscious confronts each other. It is difficult to express invisible senses as words. There is a possibility that you will misunderstand. But I am stupid so I can't express any more. A situation where conscious confronts each other. I think this will be paraphrased as synchronized. For example, Master Narita's consciousness is chair. Mr. Shiraishi's consciousness is person sitting on that chair. The chair and the person are united. That is, it is synchronized. Master Narita will return that chair. To myself. The chair Mr. Shiraishi was sitting suddenly disappears. Naturally, the consciousness of Mr. Shiraishi sitting on the chair. Lost support, he will not know what to do. As Mr. Shiraishi's consciousness remains out, Master Narita is straight a good posture, Mr. Shiraishi is a bad posture. Master Narita is in a good posture with his waist straight. Furthermore, the axis of the waist rotates. Actually, at this moment, Master Narita already moving his body diagonally to the right at same time. Hirai Den Aikido stance is slightly different from other styles. It is stance diagonally. The stance is called Aiki Seigun. So, the steps are diagonal. This is called Shimoku steps. Assuming that this position is the beginning. It is diagonally forward. This is deviation of 9 centimeters. Of course, 
It is a metaphor, not an accurate 9 cm. If it is attacked with a real sword, the idea is that it will not become a fatal wound because the center line will come off even if the ear loses. Mr. Shiraishi was trying to attack Master Narita's axis before moving. When foot move widely, people can react quickly. But, if it is only a few centimeters, body reaction will be delayed. Moreover, it is in a bad posture. Mr. Shiraishi was that his posture is bad and the target is also shifted, so he will try to regain it, but deviation with the body will occur. This is a state of maintaining homeostasis. Master Narita is in a good posture. Stance is right side of the body. Further bending the knees and lowering the waist, the right forward movement will rotate the X, Y, and Z axes. In addition to this rotation, Master Narita's circular motion of the knife hand is also added. In an actual movie, although it is swinging down from near the overhead, if the trajectory of the hand swinging down is yang, there seems to be a yin of the trajectory from behind. Moreover, rather than swinging the arm from the shoulder, he put the center of gravity and swing it from his waist. This is the Koshi no Maori. These movements mix complicatedly and become a movement of harmonic circle. The image looks something like this. It is a sphere. All the things described so far happen almost simultaneously in motion. As a result, it will be like this. When you disassemble it like this, I think ha, huh, I see it. But, Master Narita doesn't consciously do it, but has been trained for a long time so that this movement can be done unconsciously, naturally. By the way, Master Narita's move. I expressed it as this or this, but I do not feel like being pushed with invisible force. I don't feel pressure from the outside. So it is not like Kaigong. He is not a wizard. And it is not even this. Of course not. Although it may be only me, and it is a strange expression, but it is like a feeling of Baraberry inspection. The body moves against the will. Fall into a pitfall. Or I'm being sucked up by the vacuum cleaner. Anyhow wonder feeling. Video 36 is like this. When we usually strike an opponent, first think about the opponent. Look, judge. Strike. We think that if we do this quickly and powerful we will win. But, that is the same for opponents. So what should we do? Strike. Look. Think. In other words, do not judge. Do not think. And strike without looking. Wook has Mr. Ogata can't predict Master Narita's unconscious movement and cause physiological reflex. To realize this, it is necessary to overcome long time training and contradiction between the body and thinking. There are eight types Taisabaki for that purpose. 
even if you don't have a partner, you can train as much as you want alone. But, that is not easy all. Don't get it wrong, Tai Sabaki is not a fixed combat form kata. Mr. Shiraishi told me. Don't worry to make mistakes, just keep doing the Tai Sabaki with empty mind. It could be only 2 minutes per day, or could be 1 hour. The most important is not just the small physical details of the form. It is written in Master Narita's book. Most people think that Tai Sabaki has 7 or 8 patterns with its own unique names and think that these are the ultimate secrets of physical movements of all martial arts. But this is not what Grandmaster Harai thinks of the essence of Tai Sabaki. Grandmaster Minoru Harai said. No techniques in Tai Sabaki. Tai Sabaki is a training for mind, to make the body become a complete sphere. Those that cut out one scene are neither technique nor martial arts, if you cut it off, it will be distorted and transmitted. Movement is a just technique, and the martial art is state a perfect rid off one's thoughts. Learning is not easy, but that is martial arts. If we continue training with misunderstanding it won't be able to reach until we die. To that proof, there are only three people who can do this with the current Do styles all over the world. If Master Narita was 100%, Mr. Shiraishi and former Ichigen Juku so Shihan Seichi and Oshihan is 50%. This is a scene Master Narita coaching at German Dojo. He taught in Germany once a year. It lasted 20 years. The German Dojo originally taught Oweshiba style. But, after Master Narita's teaching, the high grade person seems to be training the Kurindo style. They seem to have said this. Up to now it was a sport. But, Master Narita's techniques is Bodo. Actually, Mr. Shiraishi and Mr. Ogata are originally a Weshiba style. They were fascinated by Master Narita's techniques and learned from him. Of course, a wonderful teacher is also in a Weshiba style. There are teacher whose movements and techniques are particularly helpful. That is Sashiro Endo Shihan. He may not know the word Koshi no Marari and Kyushin Kino. But the All Masters has something in common. I think so. Even if it is a completely different martial arts. His videos are uploaded to YouTube channel way masterly a lot and English subtitles are attached so it should be more useful than my poor explanation. Please refer for it. The thing I would like to pass to you is not about how good Kurindo and Hirai Denai Kido or Master Narita. This is only my own thoughts. That is. I would tell the beautiful lady in Japanese, Nanti Kirain Ahitoda. If you are an English speaker, you would say what a beautiful lady. The language used is different, but the feeling is the same. When eating the same meal, a German person says, Es ist lecker. When a French person says, C'est savoureux. They both have the same feeling that the food is delicious. But, if they don't understand the language well, it is hard to know what they mean. There is a Kung Fu master. And there is a Karate master. I assume that they both have the same feeling or sense of fighting. They both have reached a stage, but their expression differ as they learn different techniques previously. Also, it is hard to see from a person like me who is amateur or inexperienced. It is amazing that Minoru Harai expressed a stage with Kyushin Kino and Koshi no Maori. This is the Minoru Harai's legacy. These two words could be a global language just like Sukiyaki, Manga, and Kawaii. This seems a new idea, in fact this has existed for a long time yet seemingly been lost in modernized and competitive martial arts. So, this is the missing link of past and present of martial arts. I've heard that the word martial arts is associated with Oriental or Japanese fighting arts in particular. But I suppose, if one can express the feeling of martial arts masters, there could be no Oriental, Asian, or Western. It is just martial arts after all. Even if it's boxing. Even if it's...
fencing.